Increasing the angle of attack up to the stalling point will increase lift within the limits of airfoil design. Now any increase in the flow of air or in the angle of attack or both will increase lift. A conventional fixed wing aircraft gets most of its lift from its wings. The helicopter gets enough velocity of airflow by rotating its blades at speeds up to 350 miles per hour while standing in one place. To increase the angle of attack, the pitch of the rotor blades themselves is changed. In all helicopter rotor blades, two types of pitch changes are possible. The first, called collective pitch, gives a change in the angle of attack which is constant and equal on all blades. By changing this collective pitch, the helicopter can make vertical movements up or down, or it can hover. The other type of pitch change is called cyclic pitch change. In it, the pitch or angle of attack of each separate blade is being constantly changed as it revolves. This means that during each revolution, there is a constantly changing increase and decrease of pitch put into each blade. One effect of this changing is to tilt the plane of the tip path in the direction of flight, causing the helicopter to move in the direction in which the rotor is tilted. Now there's another point to be considered in helicopter flight principles. The problem is that of torque. In most single rotor helicopters, the blades turn counterclockwise. Under Newton's law of equal and opposite reactions, the force of the turning rotor tends to make the fuselage turn around the rotor axis in the opposite or clockwise direction. If there were no means of controlling torque, helicopter flight in any direction at all would be impossible. Torque, however, can be controlled by an anti-torque rotor mounted on the tail boom. By changing the pitch of these anti-torque rotor blades, the helicopter can be turned in any desired direction. In tandem rotor designs, torque is no problem. As the rotors turn in opposite directions, the torque of one cancels out the other. This is true if two rotors are mounted separately or if both are mounted on the same mast. 